according to Adina Menzel. Adina, I don't know if you were eavesdropping, but Adam Shakeman was here earlier talking about Disenchanted. And he what? He, he, was, he sure was. And he just said, he, he talked about uh, you singing on the set and, and how exciting it was and what a pleasure it was to just uh, make that movie. Uh, and, and his marveling at this natural ability that when you <laughs> sing, you tell me, is it like having a secret power in your pocket? Oh, I don't know about that. I just, I'm doing what I love for a living. I've loved singing my whole life. It's when I feel the most like myself. And that particular experience was so wonderful because it was during the pandemic and we had to travel to Ireland and we were singing and dancing on set and it just brought so much levity to that time, that tumultuous time in our lives. You know what, I'm struck by the phrase that you use, it's when you most feel like yourself because so many mm -hmm. people talk about how singing is arguably the most intimate form of expression and that you know it, it's a it's not an easy thing to do it's an impossible thing to do well uh how do you how do you feel most like yourself when you're singing and that's like an intangible thing i don't know i um maybe because i feel really good about myself it's something i've been doing my whole life it's i guess it's my connection to people and making people feel good and um, but it's hard for me to put into words I kind of don't know I just do it and I sort of get transported on a good day on a bad day I'm in my head about every note that I might have missed mm. but um, yeah it's just that's a hard thing to answer it's just what I do uh, and, <laughs> and this, uh, this Disney excited. this Disney plus special which way to the stage you tell me as you have looked at it did you learn I don't know learn things about yourself learn things about various uh, important uh, demarcations in your career? Um, yeah. do, do things stand out to you? Well, I had um, originally I just wanted to document this sort of dream coming true. I was a Long Island girl. I went to New York University. I lived in New York for many years and I always wanted, I always aspired to play in Madison Square Garden. So I just wanted to document something and not let, not, you know, take for granted this incredible opportunity that I had always dreamed of. And then when we started filming, um, I started to realize that the story was less about a tour doc and all about the stage performance and more about the behind the scenes and watching this mother, um, this woman try to balance her um, passion to pursue uh, to pursue what she wants to do in her life that makes her happy, but also be present as a mother and a wife and um, just kind of all of that. And and so it became more about a woman with it, like a chicken with her head cut off, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to get home for trick or treating and basketball games and then get on stage and be a human being and, and do what I need to do for my work. But I think that's what most people feel, no matter if they're performers and they're on stage or they're just trying to be most present in their life and their work and whatever it is, um, just trying to do that and, and um, you know navigate all that is something we can all relate to. We're going to play a clip not from that, but rather from this, uh, HBO's A Tree of Life, uh, uh, the Pittsburgh Synagogue shooting. Tell me about your involvement in this and the, the song that's involved with this. Yeah, it's, it's so weird because back in the documentary, actually, when we were on the road, we got to Pittsburgh two days before. Um, it, it, two days after, sorry, it actually happened, and um, and now all this time later, I was asked to sing this end credit song for this documentary, um, and it's just it's so beautiful. It really it's a tribute to um, the heroism of those we lost, and also the survivors, their friends, and their family. It's um, it really teaches you about forgiveness and the healing process, and. Um, you know, this sort of idea of hate and violence in our world and how we need to eradicate that in all forms towards um, any race, creed, uh, sexual orientation, gender, all of these things. I just, I think it really raises awareness while also just being this beautiful tribute to these people. It is an absolutely uh, remarkable tribute. Adina, it's nice to check in with you today. We're gonna tell people <coughs> that the documentary, A Tree of Life, a Pittsburgh uh, synagogue shooting, that's on HBO. And the documentary about her life, Adina Menzel, Which Way to the Stage, that drops on Disney Plus. That happens uh, tomorrow. Gosh, what a talent.